Uh, hello, uh, this is a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to mask things using Sony Vegas Pro. So this is it. Uh, if you don't have it, you should get it. So first you wanna import, first you need a video what, that you're gonna mask onto a picture. I, I just got this picture uh, from Google and so I'll just get it. There we go. So first thing you want to do is drag three copies of your clips down onto the timeline. The, only, uh, the reason why you do this is because you're going to have to mask for th all three things. Your left eye, right eye, and then uh, your mouth. And then you also, of course, drag down the image. And you stretch out the image uh, to the same time, same amount of time as the movie clip. So first thing you want to do is click right here, event pan slash crop, and then you move it up, and then you go down here and click mask, and then you have this tool. First, you zoom in to your left eye and make a loose outline of your left eye. Just click and then go to the next point and it will automatically connect them and then you have that and then you go to feather type click both and then you uh, click up or down on this depending on how much feathering you want you definitely want at least some feathering because then it just doesn't look very professional so you just have this and then uh, then you do this same thing for the next clip open up the vent pan crop, uh, mask, and then zoom in on the right eye. So make a loose outline. There you go. Feather type. Then you feather it out some more. And then you have that eye. And then you finally go down to your last clip, and then you zoom in. Now some people might be wondering, uh, why not just uh, put all of them, put one movie clip down and then just mask that one, mask the eye and the right eye and the mouth. Well the reason is so that you can move this around so it looks good on the apple. So then you go to feather type same thing for this it for my movie clip it's feathering is good for about four but you just play around and see what it all looks like and then so you go down to this and what do we have Okay. So here, here's what I have so far right here. Just gonna make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> kind of stupid, but. And then, so you'll notice that this is too small. So depending on how big your image is, so you're want, gonna want to um, go to this. Oh, I know. Um, track motion. And then, so you can just move around a certain mask. You can move around just by moving this, and you can also make it bigger so that it fits this. So it's starting to look pretty good. So, and as I said before, always make sure that it's uh, your head is still in the in the video. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you, take these clips, take the sound clips, and uh, go right here and mute, M mute. Make sure there's still one sound clip so that. Uh, it has some sound at all. And then so you go to all of these and then you just track the motion of them.
So click on that, track the motion. So make one eye bigger. And so you just do the same with this. There you go. Now, what you're thinking is that this doesn't really look that realistic. I mean, uh, it doesn't blend in with the green. So what you do is um, go to video effects and go to color color balance right here and then go to green mid midtones and then drag it onto these clips so then you can mess around with it so that's for the right eye and that's making it look a lot better uh, and sometimes it doesn't look right so you can just adjust it make it look better but right now it's pretty good and then so you drag that up down onto each clip so drag it onto this clip make it look better so there you have an apple and then And you always have to also drag it onto here so it looks better. I didn't really play around with the how much uh, how much green I added to it, but it's it looks a lot better. And so uh, that's basically all you have to do really for a mask. So so here's what it should look like. You'll just be moving around, saying whatever you want. I didn't really stay very still in this one because it was actually a mess up, but I was just using this for the video. So, thanks for watching. This is a Blue Wire Team tutorial.